Hello everyone, and welcome back to Atalia Riser 2. In the last episode, we... Sorry, ah. Uh... Man, I love that light motif. Just, ah, oh, makes me feel so good. Anyway, in the last episode, we mainly did, like, side questy stuff, did a little bit of exploring, blah, 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 blah. But, we were also finally re re reunited with Claudia. At long last. At long last. Oh. Grona, well, not, not in the same way as Tao has, I guess, but, you know. She's matured into a seemingly pretty good businesswoman, I guess, considering that she's, you know, branch manager in the capital of her father's business. I mean, that's... Well, I mean, it could just be nepotism, but, you know, that's pretty, pretty impressive. I mean... Obviously, she was already, like, employed with him, so, you know, I, I guess nepotism anyway, but, like, I mean, you know, family business, but, you know, if she were worse, she probably wouldn't be in the category. Point is, <laughs> she's grown up a little bit. She's a mature lady. And actually, on that note, something uh, not to do with, like, you know, I, I, anything that's actually happened, but, um, I don't know, what's the name for this? What's the right term for this? I don't know, show don't tell kind of storytelling, I, I guess. Claudia and Tao have obviously been the ones to change a lot since last game, right? You know, Tao obviously physically has changed a lot. His personality isn't crazy different, but he's a lot more like adventurous and outgoing and less whiny. And Claudia's. Yeah, I mean, she's matured a little bit, you know? At least from what we've seen, you know? And Claudia wasn't, like, immature before. And I, I mean, I definitely ad-libbed her to be a little more, um, you know, ignorant of the world than she actually was. But, you know, at the same time, she was still, like, a semi-sheltered rich girl, despite being, you know, uh, already a, something of a traveling merchant with old pops. Um... But, you know, those two have clearly grown up a bit, and that's reflected in the fact that they're the ones who have changed mm. their weapon types from the last game. I know right at the start, I, I incorrectly said that Claudia used a, like, a conducting baton for her attacks. I remember that that is not true. It was musical related, but it, it, she had flutes, which I get a I, I semi-correct shape as well, but no, she used flutes attack in the last game, so it was to do with music and it was a stick, but one that she had to blow into, not wave around. Uh, and Tao, of course, had like his club pokey sticky thingies, uh, whereas, you know, they now have uh, a bow for Claudia, as we saw in the little opening mm. at the start of the game, and Tao's now got his swords. Whereas Ryza, who has been on the island for the past three years, it still uses the same star and hasn't really changed at all. I think that's an interesting little thing, you know? I think that's cool. And I'm curious what Lent's gonna be like, right? Because obviously he's left the island as well. He's gone off to pursue his mercenary career, I guess. Um, but he's always wanted to do that. So I'm gonna, like, Part of me is expecting that, I don't know, it'll be like... Lent's gone from using, like, great swords to axes or something. You know, it's still in the same vein of big, heavy weapons. But it's still a little bit different. But I'm actually kind of expecting him to not have changed his weaponry at all. And for him to still be using, like, the great swords. Um, just because, like, Lent... Like, Lent hasn't had to change much. He's known what he's wanted to do. And he's wanted to go and grab it for, like, I don't know, uh, uh, pretty much as soon as the game started, right? He's a lot like Ryza in that sense, or he was in the last game. Um, 
So yeah, I'm curious what they're gonna do with Lent when we see him again. Uh, that's all I wanted to say. I thought that's cool, uh, storytelling. I think that's neat. Anyway, now for actual gameplay. Uh, I was gonna start with alchemy, but I think it makes more sense for us to go and actually pick up the side quests that have spawned first. And then we go back to do alchemy, just in case these two require, um, you know, a recipe that I have to buy, and then I do all my alchemy, I spend all my SP, and then I can't do the quest because I didn't buy the, uh, recipe. Yes. That's, that's my thought process. Uh, I'm sure you agree it's a great thought process. Well, I mean, that's Claudia. I don't know who this guy is. Liza! Alright, Dennis. Watch yourself. Oh god, wait. Am I gonna be relating to Patty on this one? Oh. Jealousy. Kimina Claudia san no Tomotachino. Hi, the Ureshio. Yoroskine. Hi. Ah, go me, go me. Mother, I'm not the Nakatane. Bokua, Kono Shokunink, the Kajia, or Steru, Dennis, the Yunda. Dennis Holland? Simultaneously a very generic and not at all generic name. How, how did you pull that one off, Dennis? That makes sense for an artisan. はい。明日の朝一に工房へお届けします。材料の金属はバレンツ商会から下ろしてるんだ。うん。バレンツ商会のは品質がいいからね。安心して使うことができるんだ。喜んでいただきありがとうございます。いやいや、こちらこそ本
right into part two. Well, not part two, quest two. Uh, I remember, I don't remember what voice I gave you, Cor Carissa. Uh, hello, Cor Carissa. Where, 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 where did you say before? Oh, Ryza, hello. There you go. You'll, you'll get the, 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 the that, that voice, yes. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Can I ask for your help? Oh, what's the matter? My husband is a miner. What? No, the uh, e ER. Uh, and he's been reassigned from his normal post to a new mine. But it's in a mountain terribly far away from here and he won't return for some time. I'm worried I'll get quite lonely. Are, are you commissioning me to make a... to make a dildo? <laughs> Give me something that will let him finish his work more quickly. Oh, oh, okay, oh, okay. <laughs> Whew, thank God. I'm gonna have to change the age rating on this one. Hmm, I might be able to do something. Uh, let me think about it. Oh, thank you so much. Whatever you can do. Something to finish his work more quickly. Well, I could make a machine to do the mining for him, or I could just invent steroids. One sounding easier than the other. Hello, Ryza. Who is it? Oh, it's Claudia. Is everything okay? Uh, oh, Claudia. Hey, do you know a way to make a mining operation finish faster? Mining? Oh, that reminds me. Apparently they found a new location to open up a mine. Apparently they'd be able to get digging faster. Yeah. They had some extra bombs. Oh, that's it. Bombs could definitely help it faster. Or help it and faster. Thank you, Claudia. Sh sure, but the mine is... Is Ryza trying to get a job at a mine? Why would she be trying to get a job and, and not just ask me to get her employed? Rise of hurt. Oh no, now I'm making her cry. Okay. See? Knew that'd be something alchemy related. Uh Oh, there she is. Uh, okay, cool. Nothing else? Nothing else, okay. Yes. Let's back to the cafe real quick. See if we've got a... Uh, got any uh Requests that have suddenly gone up. Uh, hunt red poonies. I mean, that's not bad, but it's also quite a lot of SP. But I'm not going to do it. Uh, that's a lot of coal, actually. But I'm also not going to do that one. Five honey. Ah, it doesn't really seem like a worthwhile one to do. You need charm. Same. Doesn't really. Uh, I guess I could do that one, but eh. This, no. I guess we could do that one. I've got a shit ton of the, like, magical stuff. Um. There we go. There you go, Rui. Uh, <laughs> Delaria, I don't know who told you I have seeds. I do not have seeds, Delaria. Please. Uh, yeah, okay, that's fine by me. I'm okay with that being where we end off that. So, back to the atelier. Yeah, crack some thingies. And let's get to synthesizing. So, wait, how many? Do we need four bombs? That's a lot of bombs. Uh, quests. Get yeah, four bombs with over 50 quality. We can probably do it, but man, that's, that's a lot of bombs. Um, let's... Sure, I mean, if we're, we're going to have to toss these ones, so let's not go too crazy making them good. We need the effect to be, uh, you know, decently high, but 
Not the effect, the quality to be decently high, but... Let's not get too overzealous now. Damn, do I really have that few... Records? Okay. There we go. Uh, is there any other easy quality ones to get to? Oh, no. We're basically just going to have to blow my... Uh, Blow my green load. <laughs> Why did I say that? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna do that a couple times. We'll um, we'll skip to when I'm done with those, I guess. That's the last one done. Unexpectedly, a massive drain on my resources there, game. But there we go. All done. Oh, and Poonie's back. Hey, Poonie. What you got for me? This is normal. Added to. S well, hang on. This is not. Oh. It's a lot of stuff. I see, De Dennis has joined our rotation of characters, too. Oh, God. Oh, God, there's so many it has to scroll. Okay, um. Well, that's unfortunate that we've got so much stuff at the Academy District, because we're going to have to do story first. But actually, in that case, we'll probably do story before going to pick this stuff up, then. Uh, I have decided. Uh, thanks, dude. <laughs> thanks, Poonie. Alright, what do you want? Uh, yeah, do you want to have some... Do you want, yeah, do you want to have some potatoes? Bye. I, I think I saw a one out of two there. Could I give him more food? And I'm just stupid? Don't answer that. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think... I think, yeah, I'm just going to go all in on making one of everything that we haven't already yet. I'm gonna do it. And you can't stop me. I don't know, are you gonna see this? I feel like you're probably not gonna see this. But I'll, I'll show you the end products, I guess. Just because there's so many of these at this point that I've kind of let sit here. Uh, I think maybe in the future I'd let you see me do some of these, but... No, I, I think we'll skip through these and you'll see the end results. Okay, pretty bad slash basic craft, but there we go. There's, there's our first one. Doing it for that SP. God, that is a lot of SP. Great. Wait, do I really not have the stuff for this? Oh, no, right. I don't have the word or nuts. Ah, I see, I see. Okay. An ice bomb looks not too bad, I don't think. Especially not for, um... Not really being able to make to... Or get too far on its tree. I feel like that one's, uh, that, that one's not bad. And there's our plajig. Plajig? Plajig. Ah, uh, whatever. I think it's all right. I, I think that's, a, that's another one that's pretty decent. Woohoo! Look at that SP, baby! Yeah, I think I did a pretty good job there. Okay, time to make some fish oil now. Okay, the much less exciting fish oil. Very specific, um... Utility, there we go, as a, um, sleep cure. Then again, I mean, we've, we've unlocked so many, um, what's a doodads that, uh, traits, there we go. But I'm gonna need, I'm, I'm gonna need to trawl through these to actually see what most of the stuff we've just made even does. There's some polishing pad. Oh wow, five units of it too. Lovely. And I think that 
Yes, that unlocks our woodcutter's axe. Finally, a long last. What do we need for the fishing rod? Um, alchemy fibers and tough log. Ah, which we will probably be able to get. Well, we'll be able to get the the log from the, the axe, I reckon. You know, you can hang around for this one. Uh, since. Since, um... Oh, damn, I have to suck my ingot in there. Since we are gonna get a, a little... Cutscene, there we go. Why can I not think of words today? We will get a little cutscene after this one explaining what axes do. Um, I know, honestly, I, I feel like... If anything, we just go into this, no? For the rest of my... Things? Get some real capable chopping. Um, it doesn't really matter, does it? It's, it's the woodcutter's axe. It's something I use on the field, not in battle. Oh, it's not going to do it now. Okay, well, um... When it does happen afterwards, you'll know. That's our first made energy pendant. Um, I'm pretty sure this one's going to be worse than all the other ones we have, right? But, hey, when Clifford and Claudia decide to join, we can slap this energy pendant on one of those two. Mm -hmm. well, Astra milk, which I can't really tell if that looks good or not, to be honest. I don't, I don't know if I'd want to drink that. Damn, that's a lot of SP. <laughs> Take a shot every time I say, damn, that's a lot of SP. <laughs> There's a bunch of mixing oil. Alchemy fibers, three units of, which is, ugh, what a disappointment compared to the five. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, I was cooking things up for so long, not only did the the, the puny return, I just had to, like, sit through a... We also didn't get a tutorial for the axe, but, you know, whatever. It's fine, what, what does it even matter? What does it even matter? <laughs> anyway. Puny. Mmm, sweet leaf. Ooh, two levels! Oh no, I can only feed him once. Okay. Fine. Let's see, what do you want to eat this time, dude? <laughs> you want to eat some sand? How about a stone? Uh, yeah, sure, have some grass. Delicious, delicious grass. Yummy, yummy. Okay, there you go. Get out of here. And now, core items. Okay, so Patty doesn't have any. Le oh, yes, right, I made all the terrible ones. <laughs> so, you're like, hmm, what, what, why is this here? What, what, what's up with that? Uh, I should probably give Ryza the damage ones. Because that's how she works. So there you go, Ryza. Patty, what do you want? Um... Sure, you can have the milk. <laughs> you know, of course. Um, sure, towel up the fish oil, and I guess for now, Patty can have the, the craft as well. Now, I'm gonna have to actually remember what all of these are. I mean, we had a, a 
think I know what ice damage is gonna be, and I feel like I know what slow down probably is as well, but mental fatigue explosion is not quite as self-explanatory of an effect. And then inflict frostbite. Okay. Tell me about it. Well, what, what, what are we doing? What are we doing? Okay. Deals slight non-elemental damage and decreases magic resistance. Okay, that's cool. Um. Oh wow, no, that's just better than the one that the Plagri does. Oh well, the bomb does the same thing for physical damage. Uh, that's actually also probably quite good. Um. Ooh, and stun on the craft. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Now, where are our other ones? Uh, did, did we get exploding spikes? Uh, maybe we did. Oh, just fix additional damage. That's nice. Uh, slow down. Just to... Yeah, reduce the speed. As... Guessed. Senselessness. Reduces critical hit rate. Okay. That's not the best, but that's not bad. I'll take that. Um, oh, sour taste. What's this? Heals HP and increases maximum health. That's pretty good. Um, wait, was it paralysis cure that the fish oil had? Oh, okay. Maybe I'm stupid. Um... Defiance increases defense and recovers stun gauge damage. That that's quite nice. Uh, and frostbite grants it. Yes, but what is frostbite? <laughs> okay, what is capable chopping, by the way? Oh, it's it's rank two lumber. Okay, cool. Great. I that that's all I needed. Now that is also what that does. Cool. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I still don't know how this works, so I guess we'll see. Uh, anyway. I think that was just about everything that we saw. Ah, okay, wait. I don't know if I checked power storing mana. Yeah, it is sleep cure. Okay, whatever, but Defiance, okay, that's actually nice. That's actually a good thing to have. Sour Taste, Corn Shock, Physical Damage, Extra Small. Okay, okay. So I think Power Storing Mana is the only thing we want to check out then. Uh, do, 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 do. I remember seeing it though. Oh no, we didn't check it out. It's this one. It's just not actually that good. It's only Lightning Resistance. Okay, cool, whatever. Uh, now, accessories... Oh! Oh! Well, okay then. Um... I think everyone else has regen, right? Yeah, so... Even though it's tiny, there you go, Patty. Actually, with that in mind... Yeah, she's actually... I checked this last episode, actually. Patty's stats have actually kind of caught up, surprisingly. Like, she's now faster than Ryza, if marginally. She has significantly more HP than Tau. Her attack isn't too far behind Ryza's, which is a bit of a shame, considering that she is supposed to be the, you know, main DPS, but it's whatever. Yeah, she's not too far behind. It is gonna suck that when we inevitably get our next party member, they'll join at level 27 and not 26, so Patty will be forever behind, but... Ah, uh, you know. Them's the breaks. Uh, I think that was everything, though. So... Off to the Academy District for plot! You know, probably. Assuming side quests don't take precedence. <laughs> oh dear, boss. Oh dear. What's <sighs> that? So 
also sounds like a familiar light motif. But yeah, no, I think this is uh, side stuff, not main story stuff. Oh, how sweet, Riza. How sweet. Medicinal support updated. So is that like a, a real quest I've now got? Or... No, so that'll be in story. Medicinal support. Make some fish oil for Boz. Which... I have done? I guess he's about to steal my fish oil, unfortunately. Um, but, oh well. <laughs> um, I suppose with that in mind though, since the story stuff's up there, we can collect um, our... that count as one of the side quests? Yes? Actually, I don't think there was another side quest, was there? Am I tripping? Am I stupid? <laughs> don't answer that. <laughs> okay, Karina, this is gonna be you, right? I saw the plants mentioned. Yeah. Oh, Liza, I have to apologize to you in advance. What, what happened? I told my other classmates that you plants about how I asked you for a favor. They wanted to ask you to gather stuff for them too. I'm here as a representative with all of their requests. Is it okay to ask you for it? Oh, there's so many. It'll be difficult to get this much. What is difficult? Oh, it's Patty! Hey. Oh, uh, you had a very really deep voice there, really commanding. Uh, you okay? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I've just been doing vocal exercises recently. Oh, uh, cool. Any reason why? No. You know, you're really hard to read, Patty. I'm Karina. Are you Riza's friend? I am Patricia. I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. I am... What am I to Miss Riza? Hmm, I wonder. Surely you should know... So if you... What I'm hearing is that you don't think we're friends. Oh, well, I mean, I... I, I, I didn't say that. I, w yes, but you strongly implied it. Uh, Fine, I guess I did. Never mind. What are you doing? Well, Kari never asked me to gather some plants, but there's simply too many. Let me see. I believe I can gather, me, gather these for you. Uh, really? Are you sure you don't mind? Not at all. You can leave it to me. Oh, I'm very sorry for telling so many people about it. it seems that everyone had their own problems. Well, I'll be sure to thank you dearly for it. Uh, Miss Patricia, let's have a chat over some tea next time. I'll see you later. Hmm. It got lost on us. I shall do what I can. That's really helpful. Didn't expect that of you, Patricia, but cool. Deliver 10 plants of over 40 quality. Okay. It's pretty easily done. Um, I mean, you're right here. I might as well. Report. Um, yeah, sure. Let's just toss some in. Pick some random ones. There you go. How is it? Or how are they? I brought what was asked of me. Oh, thank you, you two. Oh, let me take a look. <laughs> no, 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 that is not an Ojo-sama laugh. Granted, I can't really do one myself. I'm not quite of age, but, you know, it's close to the- Oh! <laughs> wow, Patty, that didn't really sound like you at all. Mm, yes, I know. You know those vocal warm-ups I was talking about? It's for that. It's for the Yojo-sama laugh. 
Oh! Oh, look at you, Patty, opening up to me a little bit. Why are you trying to do that laugh, though? It doesn't matter. It's, it's just a part of me, I suppose. Oh, this fragrance. Oh, I love it. Yeah, there's so many. Oh, this is paradise. Oh, but they belong to others. Oh, this is so nice. Um, I... Frankly, Riser, I'm more disgusted by this than seeing you and Tao get along together. Oh, sorry. Thank you for getting it to me. I'll be sure to refrain from taking other people's requests. Yeah, this was a bit too much, so that would be great. Oh, I'm so sorry. I understand. I want to chat a little after this, but I have this prior arrangement that I have to go to. I'll excuse myself here. Go oh, rise up, Miss Patricia. Let's have some tea some other time. What a curious person. She gets like that when there are plants around, though it seems that she's aware of it. But it is not something she should show readily in public. Or she should really show in public. It was quite disgusting, actually. You don't have to go that hard on it. I mean, yeah, okay, it was pretty gross. She was drooling everywhere, but still. Do you see this, Riser? Yet again, I am third wheeling. Ah, oh, well, sorry, Patty. It's okay. If I come over here, we can be like a a, a car. Yahoo! Mata Tao ga iseki no hanashi demo shite tano. So, nando mo hanashi wo kikasarete tamaru ka. Koitsu ni azukatta mono wo todoke ni kita dake da. Boku ni? Omae, mata toshokan ni hon wo tanonde ta daro. Kawari ni uke totte oita zo. Ah, todoi tan da. <laughs> yes, especially when you could have influenced me, Mr. Tao. It's whatever, I suppose. Alright, I think you do, boss. I think you do. いつもありがとう、ボス。例などいらんから二度とこんなことさせるな。どうかしました。うん、二人がこっちで仲良くやれてるみたいだから、なんか嬉しくて。Well, <笑> よし。私たちとボースって島にいた頃はギスギスしてたの。Well, beyond what they do on the daily, you know. I mean, th these two are, are like an old married couple, really. Granted, it is Boz doing the the heavy lifting with his uh, vaguely sundere attitude, but, y you know. <laughs> just that, just to, just to show off that the boys are still... Being boys. Alright, am I gonna be able to navigate around this and get to Boz without triggering story? I mean, potentially, I can see Tao and uh, Clifford there by the fountain. Yeah, excuse me, sir. Hey, Boz. <sighs> yeah. It's my fish oil. I made this for me, but... <laughs> Slow-mo walk with the fish oil. <laughs> kind of cool that they actually modeled it, though. I didn't expect that at all. Yeah, 
Huh? Nan de yo! I mean, if you're gonna give it back, I'll take it. You know, Tao, Tao could use it out in the field. You can't even eat it. You can't even eat it. So, what's the matter? What's the matter? I'm not going to eat it. 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 This is a pretty pristine bottle. I'm not going to eat it. I'm not going to eat it. I'm not going to eat it. なんかすっごい疲れてるみたいだからちょっとでも元気になってもらえるようにってそうでも愛用のがあるなら無理して飲まなくてもな飲んだ Just downs it. <laughs> クソマズだな yeah, I mean, it was called fish oil. 菊成分マシマシの代償よっていうかまさか飲むとは思わなかったああ俺に飲ませるために持ってきたんじゃないのか yeah, but you're a bit of a sundry bitch、so、あれだけ言いたい放題言われたら誰だってそう思うって錬金術で作ったと最初から言わなかったお前が悪い<笑>さてちょっとどこ行くの図書館だ差し入れのおかげで疲れも取れたからなえそんな即効性ないんだけどならこれは失敗作だ間違いなく俺には聞いてるぞあ<笑>また作ってもらえると助かるじゃあなあおばず You little softy Oh, I do love him. Oh, don't worry, Bryza. I, I don't think it was just the fish oil. <laughs> oh, I, I love Boz, man. Oh, he's so good. I love him to bits. Okay. No, that is a different quest. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like... Which, which one is this again? No, that is not the one that I have to hand in. Um, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll do story before we go pick that one up. Hey, boys, how's it going? Turns out I had to talk to them first anyway. Tao, Clifford, what are you doing? Clifford, son. Yeah, Liza. I'm going to talk to you about Clifford's story. So I just love hearing them say these very definitely like Western names. You know, like. Claudia! You know, it's like. I don't know, it's almost like a. Well. I guess in my specific case, it's like a. A bad English. Swedish accent? I, well, not even accent, like dialect? No, that's not right either. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Keep talking, guys. <laughs> ユーキューの財宝って部分ね。うん。それに大昔の話だけど、この近くに星が降ってきたっていう伝承が残されているんだ。そういう現実離れした高等無形な話にはあまり興味がないんだが。ああ、the ホシが降ってきた衝撃によるものなら町一つ分の窪地くらいできると思わないうーん一応辻褄は合うかいやなだ、that's a イセキの場所についても自然と分かってくるんだそれが北の森を抜けた先巨大な湖の広がる場所その港底に遺跡が眠っていると思うんだありがとなタオこれであとは湖の底を調べる方法さえあれば完璧だ問題はそこなんだけ
うん俺もそう思ってたんだがちょっとした可能性を見つけたな、oh, Clifford. I need that to go,、uh, get some treasure chests. お前の力俺に貸してもらえないかえ私前に言っただろ錬金術なら水中を歩ける道具を作れるってよえ作り方が分かれば作れるかもとは言ったけどならその作り方を調べる手伝いをするだから俺にも力を貸してくれないかこのままじゃ俺はお宝にたどり着くことはもちろん自分の考えが間違っているかどうかすらも確かめられねえそうは言っても私たちも今は他の遺跡の探索とかで忙しいしなら俺もその遺跡探索に同行させてくれお前たちと一緒なら俺も錬金術のあれこれでお宝に出会える可能性が高くなりそうだし俺の経験と技術お前たちの探索を手伝うこともできると思うしなそうかもしれないけどもっと別に今返事をしろとは言わねえよただ俺は絶対に役に立つのとこだぜ前向きに考えといてくれよなダンパーティーメンバー not quite a quiet ok so I guess I just need to go back to the Italian to learn this thing? oh no maybe not Uh, new ruins. But、uh, Clifford's gonna look for it too, but I presumably head back to the Atelier and see what I can come, come up with. Okay. It is. Um. Let's see. What should we do now? Because I feel like what's probably gonna happen is that we're gonna do this and then we'll end the episode off making this underwater breathing device. So, you know what? We'll do this one last, actually, because if we have to make something for it, we'll have to go back to the Atelier anyway. So,、uh, you know what? Yeah, Dennis, let's come see you first, Dennis. We met you today Liza, already back. Can you show your weapons? I'm not sure. 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 やっぱりだライザたちの武器や防具はもう一工夫すればもっと良くなると思うよ。Please do, I feel like we're very behind on weapons because I haven't been able to make the next、uh, level of ingot. うん。この杖もライザが錬金術で作ったんだろだからかわからないけど、武器自体の重さや重心、絵の太さなんかの細かい部分が微妙にあっ,てなっ,てなっそんなの全然気にしたこともなかった。強度や切れ味にばっかり気を取られてたのかもまあそういうのは専門家じゃないとねそれでもしよかったらその調整を僕に任せてみないかえいいのもちろんさ錬金術で作った武器や防具をいじれる機会なんて普通ないからね Okay, reinforcing equipment. Talk to Dennis to reinforce weapons, armor, or accessories. You need items to reinforce gear, and the items you use will affect which stats increase. Ah, right, yes, yes, yes. This was in the last game as well.、Um, I don't think I used it all that much until like, the, the end, end of the game, but.、Eh, you know. Also, the traits of the items you can use. Also, the traits of the items you use can be transferred to the equipment, which is quite nice. However, each piece of equipment can only be reinforced once, so choose your materials carefully. Right, I, I recall that being the case last time as well. Using unique materials can sometimes lead to especially rare effects. Okay. Cool. Over here in Dennis's workshop. I mean, yeah, why, why don't we check it out? いらっしゃい何が必要なの、uh, oh, buy. We can also just buy from him. Cool. Um. Do I want to? I guess is the question. Um. 
Uh, maybe not yet. Don't have a don't have a real need to. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, 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 what can we do to upgrade Riser's current gear? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, this was always like the the hard part, I guess. It's like the rarity changes, like the value of the stuff. Let's actually find like a good thing to give it a boost. I mean, that that's like not bad, right? Yacolia or whatever. It's a pretty nice boost. Restraint Silk, giving a boost to defense. But I feel like we should really... For Ryza, we should be going on like attack, right? Amatite all seems pretty good. That seems pretty good to me. Mm, that's pretty cool CG. Yeah, awesome. Thanks, Dennis. Yeah, I don't know if I'll really muck around with that too much, but... Yeah, I, I didn't last game, but who knows? Maybe I will, maybe I will. Right, well. Okay, apparently that wasn't enough. We've got more Dennis. Okay, let's take a quick yeah. Dennis break, and then we'll, we'll give ourselves a lot of Dennis. Let's talk to Cassandra first. Uh, where's she at? Down at the, the, the bottom of the farm, apparently. Eh. Cassandra! Cassandra! Excuse me. Just gonna collect some of that. It's a big carrot. Now that is one interesting vegetable. You piece of shit. Uh, no. うちの島とここじゃ育て方が微妙に違ってるんだなって思ったの。えっと、空間島だったっけ?そっちはどんな感じだったの?レンジを通して日差しに気をつけて育ててたよ。うちの島、ちょっと日差しが強くて。あと、
all in on like, man, I really like that the side quests get us interacting with all these NPCs, and Kirken Island really feels like this community, this small community with people who live in it, who all know each other. Like, it feels homely, and I now know all of them as well. And in this one, we're kind of... We're getting a mix, right? Yeah, there are some characters who are seemingly going to be, like, tied directly to side quests, right? Like, Karina, um, the lady we, we made the bombs for, Caucasus, Caucasian, sure, yeah, that's her name now. Corsicissa, Corsicaea, I, her. But we also have these characters, seemingly like Dennis, like uh, like Cassandra, like Romy, who are like the we, we get more extensive scenes with, right? And they kind of they they touch on the stuff that's not integral to the story or anything. But you know, get, let, let us get to know uh, them and Riser a little bit better as well. You know, not that we didn't already know a lot of this stuff about Riser from the first game, right? But, I don't know, having it, having someone to bounce it off of that's not a member of the main cast. But I, I, I think also the fact that they're fully voiced as well also adds that little extra something-something to these. I, I, I really like it. I, I do think they're really good. Even though, you know, in theory, these characters like Cassandra and Dennis aren't... I mean, to be fair, we haven't really seen anything from Dennis yet, so I'm not going to give him too many pra I'm not going to sing his praises or anything, but, you know... Uh, characters like Cassandra, Zephine, Romy. Well, Romy's a little bit different because she's like a legacy character and she does... You know, she has a, a pretty distinct personality, but, you know, the other two. Like, normally they'd just be generic NPCs, which, you know, they, they for the most part, probably would have been in the last game as well. But, you know, here, there, there's a little something more to them. And I really like that. I really like that about the Atelier games. Oh, well, the, the, the Atelier Riser games, I should say, specifically so far. I can't really speak for the other ones. Um, yeah, it's great. I love it. This is kind of the thi one of the things I love about these, uh, these games so far, from what I've experienced, of course. Which is only a game in, like, I don't know, a third? I don't know. I, we're probably not even halfway through this one, are we? Anyway, <laughs> off to Dennis. Let's go to his workshop first. This seems like it will be something that we, like a mechanic we unlock kind of deal. Okay, well, I can, D Dennis, is this you? Oh yeah, I can hear the metal. I can hear the metal working. Damn, that's loud. Come on, man. Oh, so, you know, they really did not hold back just spoiling that Claudia's gonna be in the party soon, huh? Same with Clifford. Because they showed them in the Dennis tutorial as well. One of the dot dot dots in his ellipses. That was pretty impressive. <laughs> well, okay. Oh, that was actually both of them. Oh, I guess his workshop is in the district, huh? I get that makes sense. Okay. To Patty! Party member scenes. Aw oh man, second game in a row I've had fine tea with one of my rich friends. <laughs> It's definitely different. 
こんな大きな部屋って慣れてないから大きい小さい方だと思いますけど Yeah, that's kind of the point, Patty. それだと私のアトリエはミニチュアサイズになっちゃうんだけど Was that dad? Oh, 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 しはい。We never fight, we never、uh, really have many disagreements. I, I do as my father tells me, and yes,、uh, that is that. Ah, I see, I see, a little goody goody, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well I'm, a, I'm a bad girl, Patty. I'm a, I'm a rebellious child. Haven't you gone on record saying that you aren't those things? Um. Uh oh. Yes. Just trying to look cool, aren't you? I know what you are, Riser. Oh, jeez, okay. Do you know Delaria? Ma, ma, zi, koto, it, chat, ta, ka, na. Naka, kuki, o, kai, ro, wa, nai, ni, si, nai, to. So, da! Patty, te, tao, ni, ka, te, kyo, si, o, ste, mara, te, ne, ne. Riser, don't bring up tao to her! Kizok, de, mo, ee, ga, kou, ni, hai, ro, ni, wa. ポティはいい学校に入るために家庭教師だなんてそういうところも貴族らしくてかっこいいな貴族っていう体裁を保つためにマリアリお父様につけられただけですポティはいい学校に行きたくないのねえ、you've <笑> I want to beat the shit out of everything. <laughs> I respect that mindset, though, Pat. I like that.、Uh, sometimes, it, sometimes it isn't all that easy. Simple, Riser, you know? Sometimes you've got principles to live up to. It's like, yeah, I mean, I could take this, but, like, I don't. Want it and doing it would kind of fly in the face of what I stand for. Or, like, it's, it's objectively a good opportunity. You know, sometimes you gotta, sometimes you should turn down those things, Riser. You know, we don't all get the, the, the Empel walking into our life being like, hey, I can teach you alchemy, and then you learn alchemy and save the world. <laughs> そんな学校とは無縁だった私からしたらとっても羨ましいし憧れるけどな私はライザさんたちの方が羨ましく思えるわ、yeah. 私と違って好きなことややりたいことは Well, Claudia isn't either You want me to be like, I'm actually but... んやればいいじゃん Yeah, <laughs> Riser, you don't understand. But it's nice, right? To contrast it there. We, we got this a little bit with, um. 
with Boz in the first game, but also a little bit of Claudia, where it's like, I don't know, just the way Riser, and this is true of Lent as well, right? Um, go, go, circling all the way back to the start of the episode, how those two are very similar. They, they've always had the, albeit maybe not under the best circumstances, they've always had the, the freedom to pursue whatever they wanted. Sure, I mean, Lent would still receive opposition from his father. Opposition in massive air quotes. Uh, but, uh, you know, he... With his dad kind of, you know, being the way he was, you know, Lent could kind of do whatever the fuck he wanted. And, uh, Ryze is just a strong-willed little lady, but... You know, the point sort of is they kind of didn't have any obligations to anyone or anything, right? Whereas Patty and Claudia and Boz, because they have a different social standing and different relationship with their families, right? They, uh... They, they don't get to enjoy that freedom. Tao's kind of in, like, that weird middle ground of, like... Technically, because his family, like, owns the only library on the island, they do technically enjoy status, but Tao isn't, like, burdened by it at all because he like, totally just enjoys the status. Well, it's not even the status. He doesn't get any status. He just enjoys the library, which is, you know, and then he gets to go to school, which is exactly what he wanted to do. Tao, like, accidentally kind of has it made. He just has, like, his personal flaws, I guess, getting in the way. <laughs> Yeah, like Patricia's, like the, the step beyond, right? Claudia and Boz. Patricia, like, actually matters. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But, you know, like, Claudia's, like, modern, emerging upper middle class, right? She's a mercantile daughter, big business, that kind of stuff. Whereas Boz is, like, local leadership kind of deal. Patty's like actually high, like actual high society, contrasted with Riza, who is not only a fucking peasant back on her own island, but she's, she's, she's this backwater islander, you know? Patty is Patty, Alas, Good scene, though. Good scene. Ne, I, I, I kind of don't have anything else to say about, uh, to that. that just, that's just a good scene. And now time to drop off our bombs and also go pick up this other quest. Ne. Wrong button. Um... Oh, balls, it's in the middle of the night. Never mind, we aren't going to be doing that. We're going back to the Atelier first. <laughs> Damn it! What happened, Fee? Are you okay? Hey, Claudia. How's it going? What? Claudia! You know here. Did you hear me blowing something up? Did you hear me blowing something up? ちょっと探すの苦労したけどね。こんにちは、ひいちゃん。今日も元気ね。それで今日はどうしたの?もしかして仕事がお休みとか。うん。ちょっと聞きたいことがあって。おお。Yes, <笑> Wanted criminal and a mass murderer. Oh, shit! Oh, Tao, no! Oh, God, I hope I haven't left them alone for too long. どれじゃあ、ハンターのクリフォードさんのことやっぱり知ってるんだ。じゃあ、あの人と一緒に冒険に行くのまだ考え中だけど、クラウディア、クリフォードさんのこと知ってるの? 
その話をされてね。And frankly, Riza, I, I didn't like knowing that a weird man like him, speaking of romance, knows you. Okay? I know it's been three years. But still. ちょっと心配になって、それで来ちゃったの。<笑>大丈夫だよ。遺跡に詳しいタオも一緒だからね。そうじゃなくて。いや、What is it? Is it Claudia? それは、えっと。Is he a roguish guy? そんなに心配なら、クラウディアも一緒に行ってみない実際に行ってみればそんなに心配するほどじゃないってわかると思うしそれに前の時みたいにまたクラウディアと一緒に冒険できたら絶対楽しいと思うんだ yeah, all of us. These two strangers and me and Tao. ごめんなさい今ちょっと問題を抱えててそれを解決しないことには身動きが取れそうにないのそれってどうなの実は別の地域で品物の大量納入の依頼を受けたんだけどその数が桁外れでね依頼を受けてはいいけれど全然数が足らないらしいのえそれまずいじゃんそれでオート方面を担当している私に話が来たのオートなら十分材料が手に入るだろうからってどうにかなりそうなの正直、まだ全然足りないんだ。対象全体で頭抱えてるよ。Well, looks like it's my turn to shine. 想像してたより大変なことになってるね。けど、そういうことなら、私の出番じゃない不足してるものを教えてよ。私がその分、用意するからさ。ライザが手伝ってくれるなら安心だけど。本当にいいの友達なんだから遠慮はなしだよありがとうライザー本当に助かるここに必要なものが書いてあるから私も他を回って一つでも多く探してみるよ分かったじゃあこっちも準備できたら声かけに行くねうんよろしくねライザー So, uh, what are we actually making, Claudia? What are we, what are we actually doing here for you? He's looking for cloth. Okay, I mean. Actually, I do. I actually don't know if I can make cloth yet. <laughs> I ironically don't think I can. Um, I'll just have to buy it with my 900 SP. Uh, where is it? That's gelatin. Uh, seeds! No one tell Delaria. <laughs> um, is that cloth? That's cloth. Ah, let's grab it. I mean, we need it for plot, and it's a pretty, I mean, it's a pretty basic item, I mean, to a certain extent. I'm kind of surprised I haven't already got it. Um,. Damn, we're so close to actually just being able to go straight to that, but. Oh well, it's fine, it's fine. Anyway, off we go there. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Bunny, Bunny. What, what, what'd you get? Not much. Didn't even get a level. Right, uh, here, do you want some cloth? Mmm, yummy, yummy cloth! Oh, here, do you want、uh, an oil tree fruit? There you go. Eat that, little guy. You little fella. You little, you little rascal. Okay. Let us do our side quests to take us home. It's still too early, isn't it? They're still not spawned in. Oh, God damn. Well, you know what that means? We're gonna run back and forward a couple of times. Until, the until they start spawning. Oh, it's raining. Ow.、Oh. Balls. Oh, my God. 
Romy. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, that was a line of dialogue. I just missed it because we both start with ah. Uh, Oh, Ryza! I'm doing some shopping! Uh, yeah, something like that. Nice, nice! It's always good to contribute to the local economy! Oh, by the way, I'd like to introduce you to, uh, my new assistant. You can call her Rook, short for Rookie. You're not the... No, you're not the little girl from the other quest, are you? Nice to meet you. Uh, yes, please call me Rook. Uh, Miss Romy's told me a lot about you. She says you're a really amazing alchemist. Uh, nice to... Oh, I'm soaked. Ah, nice to meet you too, but I'm not sure about the amazing part. Uh, but I am an alchemist. Oh, that's awesome. Please to meet you all about it when you have some spare time. Uh, huh? Teach you? Anyway, I have some cargo I have to unload, so I'd better get going. Yeah, go and make that money! As you can see, she's kind of... excitable. Trina and I is okay. Did she just ask me to teach her alchemy? Oh, never mind that. That's just how she is. Oh, wow, really? Actually, that's how I'm training her to be. That's our little secret, okay? Um... Oh, yeah, yeah. Romy, I think you're... You're gonna ruin this lady's life. I became friends with a new girl that works at Romy's shop. She said she wants me to teach her alchemy, but it sounds like she probably wasn't serious. Oh no, I forgot to ask her real name! <laughs> ah, it's fine. I'm, sh I'm sure it doesn't matter. Um... Now where the hell is this late? That's the wrong one. Quests. Where the hell's this lady? Oh, it's in the Artisan District? I'm not in the Artisan District, am I? Okay, well, not not one word, please. Not one word. Alright. Yeah, I'll get there in a second, just... I see, uh... How do you look so good out in the raid? I look disgusting. Yeah. I made you your bombs. Cool, Carissa. I brought something for you. Uh, this should help your husband finish up the mining work faster. Hmm? What is it? It's a bomb! <laughs> Just blow up the mountain and the mining will finish in no time. I was expecting a potion to turn a person into iron so they could dig faster, but this is even better. Does she have slightly different hair in the rain? Does her, does her hair like droop down a little bit more? I, it's obviously shinier. Where did you come up with that idea? Oh, thank you so much. I'll give it to a family friend who just returned from the mountain for more supplies. Uh, oh, but it's really powerful, so please tell them to be extremely careful with it. Okay. I have to wonder what it is she thinks I actually do. Uh, we're not going to ever get requests from the miners, are we? Oh. Good gosh, my life sure is hard. See, this person gets it. They've got a hood. How, how the rest of you... Uh. Uh. Anyway, with that, everything is done. Back to the atelier. There shouldn't be a scene. We just have to make the cloth. And that we will do in the next episode. Did, did some good cleanup today. You know, we got all of our scenes. We did all the quests. And I think next time... Or, I guess, more appropriately, next week, haha, <laughs> we will uh, actually be able to do the next dungeon. And if it's where I think it is, which is presumably um, here, the Star Guardian Lake. Oh, Star Guardian, shooting star, fell from the sky, made a crater. 
I see you, Atelier Riser. If it is there, we've already mapped that out. We can just teleport right there. I don't need to collect anything. Uh, we can just do some exploring, so... Next episode, we might be jumping right into, uh... Right into some... Well, not right into some ruins, because... We need to do our little thing with Claudia and presumably make something to help us swim around, so... It's not going to be quite as simple as that, but... You know... Almost as simple as that. Uh, but you know, before we do that... Why don't we decorate a little bit, now that we have... Ah, lovely. Now that we have some, uh... Some extra stuff. There we go. Aha. So rustic. I changed my entire room. Just like that. Boom. The power of alchemy. And we have a few accessories as well, don't we? Um, yeah, let's... Let's switch out every other barrel for a potted plant. This is genius. I, I don't know what you mean. Don't. Don't, don't say anything about my bad. Oh, 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 we can put a lot of things here. We can put a lot of... Oh, no, we're, we're sticking with our guns, though, I think. Never mind, we actually just can't put a potted plant here. Then we'll put a fairy doll there instead. Now, that's a pot potted plant moment, though. Okay, now that's fine. That can stay a crisp one. You know, this one, this one's up to a puny doll. I like that. Crisp bun. We'll keep that one a crisp bun, I think. Puny jelly. You know, that one could be a fairy doll. Mm -hmm. Crisp bun on the window. I like that. Puny jelly on the window. I like that. Puny jelly on the bookcase. On the bookcase. On the bookcase. On the cabinet. On the cabinet. Yeah, I like that. Just uh, gonna be a bit anal about the, the There we go. Ah, still reminded of my favorite jelly, though. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess I did also want to check. Um, I feel like there's no way he didn't. Balls, did you eat my? Yeah, you ate my. You ate my fish oil, balls. Balls! Oh well. Is what it is. B matter of pure convenience. Anyway, that's gonna be all for this episode and this week. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one for some cloth gathering, exploration, doing fun time. See you then. <laughs>